Hi, in this problem, we're being asked to use the factor theorem to show that x minus c is a factor of p of x for the given value of c. So what does all of that mean? So the factor theorem is pretty simple. It just says that c is a zero of p, if and only if, so I'll just put if, x minus c is a factor of p, right? So this works for polynomials. So really, really nice. So all we have to do here to show that uh, x minus c is a factor of p of x for the given value of c, so this is the value of c, which is 2. So we just, all we have to do is show that 2 is a 0 of p, right? Because if 2 is a 0 of p, then x minus 2 is a factor of p. That's what we have to show. So we need to show, let me just write that down to be really clear. x minus 2 is a factor of p. That's what we have to show. So we have to show it's a factor of p. So to do that, we just have to show that uh, 2 is a 0. Well, what does that mean? A 0 of a polynomial is a number that when you plug it into your polynomial, you're going to get 0. So all we have to do is compute big P of 2. So just plug in the 2 into the big P. So this is big P of 2 is 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 minus 10. Just replace each x with 2. And then 2 cubed is going to give us 8. And this is also uh, plus 8 minus, right, because it's 2 times 4, minus 6 minus 10. So this is 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So what does this mean? So this means c equals 2 is a 0 of p. So by the factor theorem, by the factor theorem, it's nice to explain stuff, x minus 2 is a factor of p. It always helps like to write a little explanation I think like in problems like this because you're using a theorem you know it's not a really hard problem it's really easy all you do is plug in 2 and make sure it's 0 so super easy right just put a 2 where all the x's are and you're done but understanding what's going on I think is harder right than actually just plugging in the number so you know reading the directions right use the factor theorem to show that x minus c is a factor of p of x for the given value of c it's like what does that mean well in order to understand that you really have to know this right c is a 0 of p, if and only if, x minus c is a factor of p. By the way, this means, this if and only if means that if this condition is true here, then this bottom one is true. And if this bottom condition is true, then the top one is true. So they both imply each other. So we have to show that um, x minus 2 is a factor, right? Because x minus c, it's what they want us to show. So we show that 2 is a 0. What does that mean? We just plug in the 2. We go through all of this, we get 0. So this means 2 is a 0. So by the factor theorem, x minus 2 is a factor of p. So, yep, I hope that made sense. Good luck.